look around until I Hi lovely guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arthur Sanchez and I'm an accountant as well as an artist. Today I decided to do some creative things and not just bore you with my paintings. I have been thinking a lot about making a choker for some time. It looks so complicated but I'm telling you that it's pretty easy and you can try it. So before we go any further, I'd like you to press that subscribe button and give this video a like and also turn on the notification button so that you never miss one of my any of my videos <laughs> So all you need is a lace and some needles and a ring if you have it and if you want to add the flare I personally like it so I measure the lace around my neck and then cut it then I sew the ends together using pins that were lying around in my house I have an earring that has lost its pair and is lonely and I want to give it some glam. <laughs> I pierce the middle of the choker and press the ring inside. Also press the sides so that it stays there perfectly. Doesn't it look pretty? I just love it. Now I'm talking to plants because talking to people isn't very convenient this time around. I mean, everyone is stuck inside the house. To make some plant friends, trust me. <laughs> then looking into my art book that I use for inspiration all the time, it gives me idea to learn, like draw so many things and never fails to amaze me. Every time I look into the book, I find something new. And I saw the picture of the hands and I wanted to do it right away. I love hands. I think they are like the gateway to one's heart. I made that up completely right now. Anyways, first using a tone sketchbook that I got when I was visiting Malaysia at Daiso. I remember that I had no idea what it was and as soon as I had a peek inside, I just thought that it was amazing and I got two of it. And it's been the best decision ever. Sketching my way through, I forget the last time that I used tone paper. Seriously, it has been... It has been so long and I have had forgotten how to use it anymore. Does it ever happen to you? I mean, it happens to me all the time. And it's quite tricky, but it's really satisfying. It doesn't really come out so perfectly, but it's still pretty good. I mean, for practice, it's, it's good enough. But I'm adding some chalk because it just does the job. I mean, <laughs> the perfect mix of pencil and chalk in a tone paper. Like they two really need each other. Strangely I also love the sound of it. Um, I don't know about you but I do. Uh, this was a pretty quick sketch. Maybe it took me like 15 minutes and I want to make some more art for today. I would like to recite a poem by Annette Klein. The title is Each New Little Day Slips Out of My Hand. Each new little day slips out of my hand 
and then with another new day I stand. But soon that is gone and folded away, I wish I might keep forever one day. I wish that one day might always stay, for the good days hurry on so fast. Only the bad days seem to last, but soon the worst of days is past. And now within my room I stand, with a new little day within my hand. I think that this uh, poem really relates to the situation right now. We have seen a lot of bad days and honestly and truthfully, every day is going in a blink and the time is passing away and it looks like the time is not in the palm of our hands. And moving on to my final art using acrylics because acrylics is the boss. I have to use acrylics every day because it's so amazing. I am studying light and shadow and the human flesh for some time now and it has always amused me, always. How was things so dreadful on the inside? It's so beautiful on the outside. Like, our body is made up of blood, organs, nasty organs, and blood, and muscles, and flesh. But still, the whole it looks so beautiful. Do you ever think of it like that? And I'm very fascinated by it. I loved Dexter and Hannibal. Like, did you? A strange and wicked. But you may think like that, but the human body really amazes me. And it intrigues me. I mean, that's just a show, but still it's, I mean, it's interesting, like, let's not go there. And I don't know how to explain, but it's very beautiful. I'm playing through the colours, it's like a battlefield. We have a sword that is the brush. We don't know whether you'll win it. I mean, the most important thing is you need to try and that's all. Try to be creative, try to hold on to your madness. And I think I'm a pretty mad artist, just like I do these shitty paintings even when I'm internally very embarrassed and putting out on YouTube. I think it's pretty, pretty amazing. If you want to check out more works, on turn paper check out my instagram and after i made this video i made quite a few artworks and it was so great all the luscious paint all that luscious paint over the paper makes me ecstatic already
well thank you so much for watching and keep yourself strong because we all shall need it in this pandemic hope to see you in my next video and do not forget to subscribe like and ring the notification button if you want to see me why not <laughs> it helps me make more videos and continue making art for you guys and it means the world to me i would love to know if you try to make the choker and how it turned out you can see my instagram on the right side of the video and on the description too thank you for watching see ya